hello hello welcome back to divine destiny guide i pray you're doing well sending you the purest of love and light if this is your first time welcome returning soul tribers new soul tribers thank you for your continuous love and your support i truly appreciate you thank you for your comments i am encouraged and inspired as well so yes you're blessed you're highly favored and we are highly secured and protected again sending you the purest of love and light so as i meditated and i just again always want divine to show up show out and the first card that came up it's here it's the throat chakra number five it's about change so a lot of you there is I put out a video recently about shift like the shift shift is here something where you're called to make a decision it's like your way or God's way and a lot of you you're going to you're called or you're feeling led to speak to speak up speak the truth because the truth sets us free not only us but it also sets others free as well so that they can realize that they are not the only ones they were not the only ones who went through these things and it's like see this is how too we connect to our soul tribe because then we resonate a lot of the things we have gone through similar journeys a lot of obstacles and challenges setbacks and delays i mean people don't need encouragement when everything is good or at least most of the time right it's in the tough times the tough seasons and a lot of you a lot of us there is a testimony inside of us there's a story to be told i mean whether it's written or oral speaking it out for a lot of you i know that there may be obstacles when it comes to blockage in speaking up people trying to suppress us they don't want the truth to come out because they're afraid they don't want the world to know all the evil things that they are doing or that they have done but again I just love to how God is working and moving because I can see with a lot of healers, a lot of the messages align, they, they, they correlate, they coordinate. So it's like, it doesn't matter. Even if they try to come against me, somebody else is over there speaking and sharing as well. And so people can be blessed. And so, yes, a lot of you will be shaking it up. Some of you, you probably are afraid to speak up. Let people know. I've been there. I've done that. And let people know. Let the world know the truth. Yes, fashion ignited. And as you speak up, this is also healing for you as well. It's like you will get that fire back inside of you because then you release it and for a lot of you a lot of us as we're going along the journey as well we're healing along the way even though we're helping others but then it's amazing how sometimes by just sharing the message that something hits hits the cord or it hits home so closely and it, it actually kind of break us down a little bit because then it's like, wow, wow. You know, it's the reflection of all that you have gone through, all the things that you have overcome, and you're still here to tell the story, how awesome God is, how great he is, and to tell our brothers and sisters that, look, I've been there, done that, you can do it too, there is hope, do not give up, all is not lost. So it's like by you encouraging others, and I know it's a lot of healing that we've that 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 was done or we've had to do in order to be here. But then, like I said, it's amazing how 
from time to time something comes up and just by sharing it's like it really hits home you know so yeah it's like your your heart will be set ablaze again number five and number one it's like from the beginning i mean if you have I mean, think about the first time, whether it's your awakening, whether it's baptism, whether this is like the scales falling off your eyes, you learn in the truth. You're not in the dark anymore. You, you wake up and it's like this fire that's within, that's in your belly. It's like, this is what you're going to get back. It's like that Stella getting her groove back moment. That new beginning. And it's like you're going to feel inspired to do this. And like I said, you're going to be free too. You're going to feel free. Just by you sharing, you're also healing yourself. Absolutely. Rest and rejuvenation. So some of you may be out in nature, called to do that, meditate as well. Because for the things that you're talking about, like I said, number five is change. It's the things that change your life for the better, for the better. Because again, it's like not realizing how strong we were that, wow, is like, it's like just rolling back the curtain of memories, looking at everything. Like I said, even as you talk about it, reminisce, if you're writing about it, and so it's like, no wonder you're called, we're called to rest, to rejuvenate, because it's been a lot. It's been a lot. The battle, it's been a lot. And yes, your foundation and achievements, the rainbow of hope, stability, your community. Again, it's like your soul tribe, your soul family. It's like the foundation starting back from square one, building up, connecting with your tribe. I mean, the rainbow is there for hope. We are not forgotten. It's the celebration. You know, it's, it's like after the storm, there is the calm. For a lot of you, a lot of us, it's like the blessings that is going to come. So for some of you, some of us, you're probably in this, and again, well, 4-4, four, four, you may have probably seen number 4-4-4, four, 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 even 4-4-4. Four, four, four. You're also protected. It's your stability. It's your home. It's your life. It's your relationship. It's your partnership. It's celebration. It's your community. You know, just getting connected with Source, with God again. And remembering His promises remembering his promises so for a lot of you again your pain your per it becomes your purpose and your purpose becomes your profit and your profit will help to fuel you to have this stability i mean a lot of the people who wrote books and they won awards or they wrote you know movies it's the things that real life story that they get a, a, achievements and awards for as well. So you just never know by you not taking your life, your story, the things that you have gone through lightly. It's amazing to see where God can take you. If only, if only we're willing to get back to like number one, starting over setting this fire ablaze inside of us so that we can ignite the world see the throat chakra is about speaking communication speak your truth even if they want to block you still speak the truth even if it's the few the few will hear it the people who god wants to hear it they will show up for it it's you know build it and they will come See, when you're doing God's work, we don't have to worry about the numbers because it's not about us. It's about God. It's about an untimed word for somebody. See, you're going to talk about the disruptions, the things that came into your life to take you out, to dismantle you, 
to create towers, the towers you had in your life. Whether this is God who stepped in and saved you, save us from a lot of these things that were meant to take us out, exposing the truth of people who came into our lives to sacrifice us, to harm us, who came up, you know, all manner of evil to betray us. People who just wanted to see us, I mean, bound. Left us out in the cold, stranded. Number seven, it's it's God's perfect number of endings. But it's like, it's just like a lot of people wanted to bring changes, endings into your life. And so, yes, you're going to share that. You're going to let people know your story. Yeah, in solitude. Number nine, this is ending again. This is like being in the hermit. Being in the hermit. It's almost like having your back to the tower. Looking forward to what's ahead. It's like the words that it's good that I was afflicted. Because it's out of your afflictions that you, you, you know the law. It's like if you didn't go through anything, you wouldn't get to know God. You wouldn't get to have the relationship that you have now with God. Because you studied, you gained wisdom, knowledge, and insight. While you were left in the dark, all by yourself. Left by yourself. And this is what now is going to cause help to cause this passion to be ignited in you to heal you I mean this is like that that ace of cups is like I mean it's like this passion burning inside of you your intuition you're connected to divine I mean it's like <laughs> she has read back like oh yes it's like so overwhelmed by the spirit that's what happens when you go into hermit when you're healed, when you resuscitate yourself, you bring yourself back to life. Yeah, and it's with the rest and rejuvenation, it's positive movement forward. This I'm reminded of like the six of swords, moving on to hope, to calmer water. It's like God moving you from all the obstacles, the challenges that you've gone through. Wow, it's like it's just you in the boat, you and divine. You're called to speak up of how you overcame number eight, 2024. I mean, this is an untimed word. Look, the crown chakra, number seven. Wow, it's like all the downloads are the uploads are, you know, the upgrades, the communication, the things that you're hearing. God is imparting all the wisdom, the knowledge inside of you. I mean, the things that you'll be able to share with people, whether this is in your community, your tribe, your soul family, your group, even your own family, you'll be able to share with them. Of, and, and I mean, you're going to be able to tell people things and they're going to say, how do you know? How did you know? For some of us, it's like you open your mouth, you don't even know how, but God words your mouth. It's an untimed word, in time. Because this, this reminds me too of like being the high priest or the high priestess. How God, you know, just, he tells us his secrets. And a lot of people are wondering how you know. How you know. Yeah, it's like you're going to be lit, your sacral chakra. Is going to be on fire. I mean, all the inspiration that you need, your creativity. So again, again, just by you sharing with people, like I said, you'll be balancing out. You're helping. You're healing yourself. You're healing your throat chakra. You're healing your sacral, sacral chakra. You're also being empowered as well, number eight. It's like you're realizing that you're a beast. You're out of this world. It's like no wonder you were misunderstood. You're still misunderstood. People don't get you. Because it's kind of like... 
Again, wise as a serpent, harmless as a dove. You come, come, but you're prepared for war. You know, it's like, don't call me unless I send for you kind of thing. And for a lot of you, it's a power that is under control as well. It's like you really have to be pushed to the limit in order for you to roar. And we're reminded too that God is a lion and he's a lamb. And as sons and daughters of the king, yes, we have that same we have that same connection. We have those same characteristics and traits as well. So for a lot of you, as you ignite your passion about the things that you learned, you shared, you learned about yourself when you were in solitude and you share that with people, that's empowering, not only for you, but also for them as well. It's healing for you and for them too. Your chakras are going to be lit all this creativity, all these ideas, is like you're gonna be brave because then for, for a lot of you, a lot of us, the enemy knows that if he can keep our mouth shut from talking, even just by us speaking into the atmosphere, because see, the power of life and death is in the tongue. So if we are able to speak life out into the atmosphere, to create, co-create with the divine, with divine or manifest, then all of this would come to pass. But the enemy wants us to be afraid of our own, our own voice. We don't like the way we sound. And so therefore we shut our mouths. But you'll realize that once you start to speak up and speak out about the things that you overcame, the things that you've gone through or you went through, then you'll realize that you're also become empowered as well. You become braver. And it's like you have more confidence or Godfidence in yourself because it's like, wow, well, God, we did it. You know, yes, it's, that's what I'm talking about. That's what I'm talking about. So a lot of you, you know, you had to do the shadow work. Again, number nine, it's like passing on the torch. You know, it's like from night to day. It's like you saying goodbye to the old self. Not allowing fear. It's like you saying goodbye to fear. And it's like you're taking the power back from fear. You take your power back from your abusers, your accusers. The people who try to victimize you. The people who try to isolate you. The people who try to put you in a tower, leave you in a tower, lie on you, assassinate your character, speak death into your situation, wanting you to be rejected. It's like you're saying, yeah, buddy, yes, yeah, sis, you know, the old me is dead and gone. Yes, I'm taking my power back now. It's like for too long, I have allowed people, places, and things to have power and victory and control over me. It's like no more. I am a child of the Most High. I am royalty. And so now you're standing up straight and you're saying goodbye to what no longer serve you as you step into this moment. Because, see, you're moving on to calmer water. Positive movement forward. And there is no way that you can move forward into positivity, brightness, light, and all of this stuff with a dark cloud hanging over you. You can't go into that season with unforgiveness and, and burden. And so this is why, to a lot of you, a lot of us, were called, are called to speak our truth. Because it's healing for us. The, the people who did this, they don't want it to go out. They don't want it to get out. So they are busy oppressing and suppressing. But I'm telling you, the right people who need it or who need to know about it, they're getting it. And that's all that matters. It's like God just wants to know that we are willing. We are willing. We're obedient. Obedience is better than sacrifice. And God bless that. 
He blessed that. And this is why it's positive movement forward. Because you're willing to die to self. You're no longer a slave to fear. You're not allowing the enemies to have power over your life anymore. You are not a victim. You are victorious. Yes, they wanted it to be a big mess. You know, try to paint the town with your name in mess. But now it's your beautiful message. It's a message. It's a message. And see now those same people who did all of that, they are busy now trying to, to, to quiet you. However way they can do it. They're trying to hide the truth from going out. Ain't that something? But let me tell you, if it's even just you speaking into the camera, and like I said, it doesn't matter how many, but see, the thing is, it's freeing for you. It's liberating for us because we got it out. We got it off. Yes, a lot of these people, I'm telling you, they wanted conflict and defeat. Conflict and defeat. Again, number five, this reminds me of like the five. It's like a combination of like the five of swords and the five of wands for me when I see this. It's just a lot of people who wanted to win at all costs. People who are jealous and envious. See, he's stumbling away. You know, being wounded, tattered, torn. This is what people wanted for you, wanted for us. But in spite of, despite of, you see the light. The light was shining in the dark. It's like God, wow, came through. And I'm telling you, for a lot of you, a lot of us, these towers, God walked us away. Walked us out because not everybody made it out of this. Not everybody. But again, it's because of the calling that you have on your life. You're an earth angel. You're an ambassador for Christ. You're chosen. You're here on purpose, for a purpose. This is why the enemy, the enemies were not successful in taking you out with all this conflict and defeat, the disruption that they threw at you. For a lot of you, a lot of us, they wanted to block our chakras. They tried. They poured into this. And it's like, but God, but God. And no wonder we're called here to rest and rejuvenate. Because I'm telling you, a lot of us, we needed it. We still need it. Because I'm telling you, this spiritual warfare is no joke. It's no joke. It's no joke. And I'm telling you, it's like, and this is why so many of you, so many of us need to speak about this, these things. Because when you talk to the ordinary person, and it's like, no wonder the spiritual community is growing, growing. Because... People want to find like-minded people, not people who are holy moly, holy rollers. You know, who, when you speak or say certain things, they look at you like you have horns, you have two heads, you're going crazy. All because they only worship God in the flesh. When everything that happens, whether it's through God or the enemy, it's spiritual. So it's like they cannot relate. And so many people want to know that they're not alone. They're not crazy. They're not foolish because nobody else around them in their home, in their community who understands them. Nobody gets them. And it's like it is so refreshing. I know for me it was when I listened to other healers and light workers who shared their testimony, who encouraged me. Because also of what they have gone through. And it's like, wow, wow. God is a spirit. And so all of us who worship him must worship him in spirit and in truth. So a lot of people out there, they, they didn't survive all of this conflict and defeat because they didn't have anybody 
who believe in them. They didn't have anybody who understood them. People, they were shunned. They were turned away to go and deal with life by themselves. And not everybody is strong enough. Have that will, that fight, that determination. And if you will notice with a lot of people who are survivors and victorious and who are overcomers. I'm telling you, I'm telling you, it's that drive that only came from God. And this is why I know that there is a calling. There is a blessing on your life. You're here on purpose, for a purpose. It didn't happen to you. It happened for you because you have a greater mission here. Because a lot of people, and again, many are called, few are chosen. A lot of people are called. And when they, when they encountered evil people, people who are evilous in the spiritual realm, demonic, who had them in all kind of shackles and bondages, a lot of people still are in it now, in connections with narcissistic, toxic people, and they're telling families and friends the things that's happening and nobody can relate. And some people don't make it out. Some people don't make it out. Some people don't make it out. They don't survive to tell their story. And for a lot of you, a lot of us, it's now that we are in this place, in this moment where the great revelation where the scales are fallen from our eyes that we can look back on other people maybe even in our past and you realize that wow they weren't crazy i wish i had stood up i wish i believe because i'm telling you you have some good 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 hard people out there some really good earth angels and we have gone through some stuff, encountered some bad, really bad, evil, demonic people. A lot of these people, I'm telling you, they left you or you're in this place right now where you just feel battered, wounded and torn. I'm telling you, it's like if you let go and you let God, and I'm not going to tell you it's easy either because it's not when you're in this solitude going through these towery moments it's not easy but it's it's you having that fight to keep going like it says you know when if you catch hell don't hold it if you're going to through hell don't stop it's it's allowing god to blow up these towers in your life giving god the green light to release to reveal all the people, places, and things in your life who are there, but they don't mean you any good. And be willing to let God move you away to calmer water so that you can meet the people who will pour into you, who will really support you. Because it's like, even though we may be miles away, or we may be, you know, wow. I was going to say, yeah, some may just be around the corner too. But it doesn't matter how far we are. We are connected. This is why we are soul tribers. We are connected. We're connected. So yes, you've been through a lot. You have been through a lot. And this is why for a lot of you, a lot of us, yeah, it's financial and material changes. Number five. So you're coming into a lot of blessings because I'm telling you, if you allow God, he's going to do great things in our lives. I'm telling you, because see, the world needs more testimony. He, he, people need to know that, yes, there are people out there who survive, people out there who are still going, people out there who are still, who are being blessed by divine financially and materialistically it's not just there for for those people but it's also here for us too wow the hierophant absolutely so a lot of you you're called to teach and preach about the things that you have gone through and the things that you have learned while you're in solitude as well about the merciful god 
yeah, the king of wands, you know, being passionate, creative, being a boss, a leader, a warrior. You're a spiritual warrior. God, the, the merciful judge who gave you the answers when you were in doubt, when you went out to meditate, to reflect, God gave you the answers. It's a lot of spiritual warfare. Yeah. Wow. Yeah, so for a lot of you, this, this is coming in quickly. You know, your blessings, because for those of you, you're already doing this, you're already on your path, and it's just to continue, because it will pay off. It will pay off. You will reap. We will reap if we faint not. We will reap if we faint not. Okay. We will reap if we faint not. Yeah, wow, the lovers. Joy of God. I'm telling you, you're going to get joy and pleasure and happiness when all this negative energy is removed because by you talking is like you're detoxing as well. You're realizing that Jesus is the lover of your soul as well. I love that. I love it. I love it. I love it for you. Yeah, look. Two of Pentacles. God who supports the universe. I'm telling you. God is supporting you with fortune and fame. Fulfills all of your requests. All of your requests. God is fulfilling them and he will. I'm telling you. It will pay off. I love this for you. I love it for us. Until next time, take care and be blessed.